Do you want to see some really cool STEM toys and other toys? Well, look no further because in this video, I've been at Sweet Sweet this week and I'm going to show you all the cool toys. They also had a few other events here while we're here because we haven't been able to meet together for like since 2020 in like February. So they also had a party at FAS Forts, which is a store that has been reopened in the Rockefeller Plaza and it has a lot of really cool toys and it was so fun to be there and thank you so much for hosting us at FAO Sports. And then we were able to go to camp today, which was so much fun. I was so surprised. We got to decorate some bags, we got some dolls, they had some food, we got to make bracelets, we got a splatter. It was so much fun. So hope you guys like this video and see what I did this week and see all the cool toys. And hopefully this won't be the last toy fair sweet sweet video in a while because we'll be able to keep meeting. I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy the video. I started the week out at FAO Swords and here's the famous piano and here I am entering FAO Swords. The guards were so cute. This Barbie is customizable. You get to pick out like three outfits and then take it home and it's styled by you. Tony's is one of my favorite daughter's bedtime routines and they have them all there. Of course, the giant animals. Now we're at Sweet Sweet is what I've been waiting for. We've had it online for so long. We have the Switch Row Coding Crew from Learning Resources. It's a great STEM toy for coding for kids. We have the Natural Play Foam Sand and the Regular Sand. And over here we have the Geo Safari line. It has a microscope, binoculars, and we have Lukey Labs. They have some cool little monsters and some uh, interlocking pieces for boys and girls. We have some of these and my daughter loves them. And then next up we have Pokemon. I think the Pokemon Go is new. My kids love Pokemon. It seems like they're always buying them. I don't think they've stopped in the past two years. It's just been something to do that's been really fun for them. We have this game that's behind there. And then this looks like a really cool set. But this game is really fun to play. I actually can play it. And then we have some Pokemon that you can build. And this one has movement right here. And of course we have the plushies. We have a couple plushies. My kids love to snuggle them. Now we have Dr. Squish. She has her own squish making toy. It's thicker than a balloon. And look at that. You can make your own and it is so awesome. And here's a toy and you can put glitter. You can put all these different things into your squishies. Next up we have VTech. And you know, VTech is interesting to me. Let's look at some of their stuff. I am kind of against all this like toys that sing to you, do things to you. I actually took some of my VTech toys out, but I think some of their ideas are good. Uh, I don't know about this chair. It looks fun. This was actually really cool. This turns into a dinosaur. So I would definitely get that for my kids. I would get, definitely get this camera for my kids because it prints out. But some of the toys that like talk to you as much, they're not my favorite. We have both of these and my kids love them. Magnaformers are amazing. This one looks so fun. They also have Sticko. And now we're on to this Pixel Bits. And this is really cool because instead of using heat, these pixel art, you use water instead of heat. And I thought that was really cool. Now we have our purse friends right here. Look at how cute they are. Here's the purse pets uh, for Hello Kitty. And then we have some that are just so fun. And then Hatchimals Rainbow. And look at that action right there. It is so cute. It just flies around. What kid wouldn't love that? And we have some Wizarding World Diagon Alley. And then we have our Monster Jam Garage. And I like that. Okay, this one I was so excited for. Disney Trivia. They haven't made a new one in like 20 years. And I'm totally getting this. It has new questions and my kids will love it. Crayola is turning 64. The box of 64 crayons is turning 64 this year. And they even made these cute little cookies. I have one that made it home okay i'm so glad they have this scribble scrubby snow explorer this year a tie-dye color chemistry kit which is super fun and all this experiments are fun they have this washable pop and paint set so you can put your paint in there and then they have this clay set which i think i would be most excited for be this one because i love to sculpt things and what event wouldn't be complete without having superheroes at it. These are so fun to see around. It was so much fun. 
Okay, we have Osmo here. They have a lot of new things coming out. And I can't wait to try it. They gave me some of these uh, preschool sets you'll see here in just a minute. They have it for all the different sizes um, up to grade three. So pre-K through grade three. And then here we have Play-Doh. We have all of our Hasbro things. Look at this. I want that. That's from the new Mandalorian. They have a new Monopoly game, some Nerf guns. Isn't it all so exciting? And then Sly is always fun. Those are so pretty. Next up, we have Lego. Lego's turning 90 this year. And look at that Van Gogh set. We have some pretty flowers. Dots is expanding this year. We have Lego City coming in. And I love that clock tower. And look at this. It opens up and they've incorporated some of the dots into this. And look on the back here. Some of the dot art, you can make your own dot art on the back, which is awesome. Next up, we have the Nintendo Switch. I actually got to play some games while I was there. And look at this Lego set. It looks super awesome. But it was so much fun to play all these games. And here is the Lego set again. I just loved playing them. You can just hang out. These chairs are going to be brand new this year. Addison Ray has a doll now. Did you know that? I didn't know she was a toy person, but hey. She's got some dolls. Tony's back again. So this is what you do. You put them on there and then they make noise. And look at all these cute little toys. We have so many of them. Tigers. My daughter loves okay. them. She loves them. It helps her go to sleep. Making sure I hit the favorite there ones. Some Sorry. for the day, some for the night. And this rank game looks like so much fun. They've really expanded. They have lots of different lines now. And here we have Playmobil. Look at this. That bus looks like my favorite. It looks like so much fun. Look at that. Uh, and then now next up we have Haba, Habe, or <laughs> if I'm saying it right, we have a cool train. They have cool little sets. It is Hape. Sorry, Haba is a different one. And now we have virtual reality dinosaurs. This is just like a lot of really cool STEM toys right here. We have some Super Mario games here that would be so much fun for kids to play with and have so much fun next up we have some dolls these are the Fiji dolls they are super cute and then we have honeybee who doesn't love honeybee <laughs> Schwinn bike we have the Paw Patrol one right there we already bought it and then here's another cool bike Next up, we have Mattel. This is a brand new line that was just announced last week. That hair was super soft. I loved it, touching it. It was just so much fun. I think this is a super cool line. And of course, we have Thomas the Train. What uh, wouldn't it be complete without? And then we have the Minecraft world, which my kids are getting into more. Now we have Jack Pacific. Okay, what am I, we missing here? I love that they have all the dolls, but we don't have a Louisa, and I told them that. They need a Louisa doll, please. <laughs> they have this really cool one. Compound Kings is the Kings of Slime. They have some really cool products coming out. You should check them out. They have all that cool stuff. This is Snorble. It's a bedtime toy for your kids, and look how it changes from party time to sleep time. Next up, we have Bandai, and look at all these awesome things. Of course, we have the uh, Tamagotchi sets. They have a Toy Story one now. Look at all those fun things that they have. Tamagotchi picks. My daughter just picked one of those up. She loves it. And then this cool one, the character can hold the Tamagotchi. Now we have Poppet. They have this little game. Sorry, I didn't show you much of it, but they have this game. And then they have Poppet Pets. Next, we have Just Play. They have Alice Wonderland, Dorables, Mickey. They have so many fun things. Coco. They have uh, these Art Squad dolls that came out that I showed at the beginning. It was a super fun event where they launched them. Jazz Wars, which is Squishmallow and more Coco Mellow. Coco Melon, I guess. Sorry. But look at those. Aren't they cute? Those are so cute. I, we have a couple of those and my kids love them. This is a really cool game that you can make on your phone. And here's just a word game. These have, these seem a lot, like a lot of fun. This is Make It Real, which is a lot of cool crafting sets. And that's it for Sweet Sweet. They had this donut truck afterwards. I didn't get it because I don't love donuts. 
Oh, and then sorry, we have <laughs> Funko, which has all these really, really cool games. I didn't make it to their booth and I was really sad, but that's about it. So here we have, I of course I had to add <laughs> me paint splattering. We have to have some kind of art in this video, right? So this is, oh, I got it on my shoe. I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> and that shield didn't go quite down long enough. And I got some on my shorts, but this is, you just splatter it. And I had so much fun. <laughs> I'm like, uh oh, did I get on my shoe again? But it was just so much fun to be in there. I could have probably been in there for longer, but there were some people waiting. So I kind of wanted to hurry it up, but I wanted to make sure that my board had lots of different colors on it. So I went with like, like a pink, a yellow and a blue, but they were kind of off center. So they're like the primary colors. So you'll see the board afterwards that it has like purple and green in it, even though I didn't put those colors in it, but they said like you could do four colors, but I only wanted to do three because I didn't want to make it like too colory, but actually, you know, like so it wouldn't look good, but I think it actually came out good with just three colors. I would highly recommend it because the colors just were like super fun to me. It was a super fun activity. I'd like to set something up like this for my kids and just have them wear clothes they don't care about and shoes they don't care about and they just paint splatter outside. I think this would be a super fun activity. So I probably will try that this summer <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it was super fun and it's super easy. It's super messy but it's also super fun. You can just have fun doing it. And here it is. Here is my finished piece. Look at how I have green in there. And I didn't even put green on, but I love it. That's it. New York City was so much fun. And so was Sweet Sweet. I'm glad I got to go. See you guys in the next video.